Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Well, that's an ominous way to start this off, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Arbitration Studios as we start a, yet another journey across the whole damn thing. Mrs. Arbiter, what are we playing? Bioshock Infinite. And you know we're in for weird stuff when we start off the coast of Maine. Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Had planned on it. So you expect me to show the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why Mom. is that? Probably your idea. Okay. Do it. My idea. Okay. <clears throat> I made it very clear that I don't expect me to show the burden. I do love these characters having played. <laughs> I. Uh, obviously, full disclosure, we've played this game before, so uh, we, we we know what happens, but uh, we, we uh, haven't... We were doing uh, this sort of thing when we started playing it, so... So, I do love the bickering between those two. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does. But there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't. The history he behind the two is interesting. No, he doesn't. How they're not. How they're in the same room and it's not a complete paradox is another thing. <laughs> well, <clears throat> but we'll be getting to that when it's the appropriate time. Yes. So. Ah, there's always a lighthouse. Is there a lighthouse in the first one? Was that how you got down to Rapture? Shall yep. we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? We might give him some comfort. Oh, eh. Something we can agree on. <laughs> hey, is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Eh. <laughs> okay. Ooh, hey. Okay, Silver Eagle. Yep. Money! You know, 1912 $1 coins were still used quite widely in the United States. Oh, yeah. You know, $1 coins are used quite widely everywhere else in the world. Oh, yeah. And $2 and more even in Canada. Whoop. Which is very weird to figure out the money in Canada. <laughs> Remember what it Why is. Why does it smell like maple syrup in Canada? Because it's... They have maple syrup. <laughs> I know, but why Excuse does the me. money smell like it's maple syrup? Booker DeWitt. I don't know. Uh, I guess you're expecting me. Oh joy! You realize that? Uh, sure. <clears throat> you realize that uh, Preacher James is gonna be coming out, right? Oh yeah. Father James. Uh, so it's gonna be banana bread or apple pie? Oh, I, I don't know. It, we'll, we'll probably get to both. Is before anyone the here? Up. Hello. And then some. And then some. Shelter cookies, Snickerdoodles. I may. I think I will start off with uh, uh, with my usual uh, just asking for money bit. You know, a traditional preacher. <laughs> He's coming and you have to stop him. Ah, uh, old time religion. Gotta love that revival music. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Funny thing, because I wasn't raised in a very religious household, I was a uh, preteen the first time I actually attended a... Don't disappoint us. Well, message received. Okay, but why does that have to be written in blood? Are you going to be all right, Bob? I think he's... Yeah, you're right. He's a Gary. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Huh. But, uh... Where, where was it? As I was saying, not being... Wait a minute, that card. Alright. Scroll, Kiki, Sword, Sword. Huh. 
I forget if that combination changes every single time, so you actually have to the world is pay attention. I don't know. Yeah, this is straight out of some Stephen King shit right now. But, um, as I was saying about religious services, I wasn't, uh, raised in a particularly religious household, so the first time I encountered that particular bit of Southern gospel was from, uh, uh, was from the movie Inherit the Wind. Oh. Watching that on, uh, on, uh, the Hallmark Channel in the 90s, even though the movie came out eons ago. So... All right. Oh. And of course, I see a barber chair pop out of a lighthouse with that kind of mechanical precision. I'm going to sit in it, aren't I? I don't think you have a choice. I just really hope there aren't spikes coming out from those buttons. No, but we are being forcibly restrained. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. Spinny chair. Whoa. No, no, god oh. damn it. Yeah, god damn it is right. Why did they lower me like that just to see the rockets? I don't know. It's still kinda creepy. Yeah. Just stay calm. Right. Oh. Hallelujah. So, approximately 15,000 feet or three miles in the air. Granted, actual air traffic is not a humongous concern because 15,000 feet is also the uh, average... Uh, average cruising altitude of a uh, smaller uh, private passenger plane. Yeah. Even though they can go up as high as 50,000 feet. Um, so, I'm talking stuff like Cessnas or small Emperors or uh, like a Dassault Falcon jet or something. Um, <clears throat> still, my the point that I'm getting at is for what we're about to encounter, it would still be fucking cold up there. You would think. <laughs> Why would a save a savior unto us if we would not raise a finger for our own salvation? And though we deserve not to his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Can I get an amen, Sister Arbiter? Amen. Amen. Well, now I believe, I truly believe that Jesus, he knows me. <laughs> and the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. And it looks mysteriously like Santa Claus if dressed in blue. Okay, can I get out of this fancy barber chair now? Ring-a-ling-ding. So, I read something interesting when this game first came out. What's that? I forget the actual media outlet <coughs> that was uh, doing it. It was a... <clears throat> but it was a mainstream... Uh, oh, more coinage over there. More coinage? What? Yeah, over by the, where the book was. Uh, I picked it up. Oh, down here. Whee! That is nice. I like that. Whee! I'm not sure I like how weird this is set up. <laughs> and in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. Wow, this sounds like a pregnancy cult. Quiverful movement. I think Just, it's trying to cre create paradise, therefore create a brand new, therefore procreation is going to be emphasized. Well. For one. For one. 
but it, it's it, it's still excuse me where am I heaven friend or as close as we'll see till judgment day you realize that you're supposed to wear the Mormon magic underwear inside the clothing right I mean I, I, I'm just saying it's called underwear for a reason. The lamb, the future of our city. I find the exit out of this place. Yeah, again, it's... Well, obviously. It's that whole, hey, actual messiah. <laughs> My child is the actual messiah. And, you know... I mean, we all think that, that, our, that our kids are God's gift, but come on. If anyone was going to start a religious movement like that, it was go it's going to be me, goddammit. Then you have to choose which son, though. No, I don't. Hmm. <laughs> now you would just be making it more Norse. <laughs> or at least monotheistic. Gladium. Laven. Valumen. Okay. So. And every year, on this day of days, <laughs> we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet. <laughs> I can blow out the candles. We recommit through sacrifice. Or not blow them out, but knock them over. And by submerging eh. ourselves the kind of in the cool. sweet waters of baptism. And <laughs> if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the sudden beneath us, it would have been. <laughs> ah, here's where we're going. Um, journalists for some mainstream gaming site kind of revealed that he could not go beyond this point in the game because it required him, you, to undergo a baptism because he was a Pentecostal Christian. Someone from the uh, he 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 refused because. He takes that shit seriously, damn it. It's just like, dude, it's a game. I just game. need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. I'm pretty sure that I could just travel eastbound on I-70. It's either this or turn around and get back on that rocket. Fine, sure. I blind you priest in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. Priest, preacher. Yep. <laughs> Personally, I was baptized myself, so that, but that was also at an, at an age where I could understand what the heck was going on. Yeah. I never was. I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have two boys right beside you, because. <laughs> I'm letting. I'd rather let them choose. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the jet. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door right now. So oh, for not gonna do it. I forgot about this part. Then again, he did nearly drown me, so I would be. <clears throat> there, there are some people who get a little too into stuff. Yeah. I'm, I baptize you by nearly killing you. We'll remember the drowned god. Yeah. Yeah. Washington, Franklin, and Jefferson. Because here was a guy who was trying to create a country. Here was Rambo, who basically was... Who had mythology written around him Figure out what the hell. Mm -hmm. to become a hero. The hero that America needed rather than the hero he actually was. And here was the guy who did all the hard fucking work and all he got was his face on our largest denomination of currency. Also, apparently, he was quite well endowed. He would have been called a knee knocker in, uh, in modern parlance. So they may better love the air. You know, be like that video of William. You see, this should not exist. A hummingbird should not be able to exist at fifteen to twenty thousand feet. It wouldn't. The 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 air should not be Cross dense enough for it to flap its wings and maintain and altitude. Sword, and should would the sword, air be dense enough for even sword. humans to manage? Uh, you could breathe. You'd be fucking cold, and everything would be an intense. Every bit of physical activity would be an intense labor. 
them. So it would be the so you'd have to be Vegeta or and want to push yourself to the limit. There's no which is where it's really odd. Oh, good God. There's no long-term acclimatizing to that altitude. You would be having to make serious choices about your activity to preserve oxygen and your mm. blood. And I thought that Venice was an interesting... Yeah, Venice don't fly, though. Do it. No. Venice is generally like a float. Generally. No, Venice is designed to sink. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Perfect day for the celebration. <laughs> hey there, little scamp. Okay. That statue. Ooh. I suppose that stuff like this would need to happen. Hey, the building you want to go to is going to be here. At, at this, this time. time. Yeah, that's... <coughs> really, really Net weird. Artist, Suddenly real estate is very and precious. Lot to a man. When you don't have actual land. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. What's wrong with that? It's a fountain. It's still unplanted. And frankly, you're in the clouds. You're going to be surrounded by rainwater. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired. That, that the work had taken <laughs> much from him. I said, good God, man. Don't tell me about detail. Oh, God. That's... <laughs> uh, uh, no. Mmm, meat. I have no idea where they got it, but mmm, meat. Ooh, and ice cream. Again. No idea where they got it. Nobody said it made sense. See, at least there's a good explanation for the horses. Okay, yeah, electricity with the horses. That is good to know. Mm -hmm. Vision. Well, I so, suppose the parade floats make sense because you're already floating. <laughs> Did you know that if you took two eggs, a two eggs, two bananas, some brown sugar, and a cup of flour, you mix it in, you put it in an oven at 250 degrees for two hours, you get yourself a nice loaf of banana bread. Can I get myself an amen? Amen. Okay, so I did the banana bread first. Raffle, <laughs> folks. Pick the right event to attend on a raffle. Yep. Ooh, it's gonna be a raffle. Columbia raffle. I'm in the mood to go raffling. You in the mood to go raffling? Sure. Does that mean I get to, like, do an elbow drop from the top road? Or, like, the Macho Man Randy Savage? I'm not sure that's what they mean by raffle. Oh. We get the key. Scroll. To be honest, I'm not really sure of anything at this point. <laughs> Guys, warm temperatures Hello. and light variable wind. On your honor, System put a. money Your's in basket. A beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. Okay. And now, back to the music. Ooh, I had a whole cake. Cake. Hey, there's no pie. Yeah. Pie in the sky. <laughs> Yeah. Nope. I have no honor. Honor? Who is this? Your honor is left on the ground. Beware the false shepherd. Ooh, old tiny movie booth. Ooh. Seeks only to lead astray. Who is the false shepherd? Is it him? Is it him? Is it him? It's me. Yes, it is definitely me. <coughs> and there are vigils to protect the lamb from the false shepherd. Ah, oh, jeez. Finn. 
F FN2187. I don't like it. I'm gonna call you Fen. Would you care for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. Can I get your telephone Maybe. number? You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. Well, like I said. Wait. Time out. Hmm? <laughs> you... <laughs> it's the Beach Boys! Only not! And I yet to remember, gay <laughs> means happy. <laughs> That's by definition. Uh, sure. That's what it used to mean. Oh, they're dancing. I mean, I that blows my mind. I it, it, it's a bit of clever storytelling. Uh, by having the uh, by by having it where there are things that don't belong. But you don't know they don't. But but you as the player know they don't belong. Not you, the uh, the character. Telegram for you, sir. Dewitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number seventy-seven. Stop. Lieutenant. Do not pick number seventy-seven. Okay. Stop. Huh. Out of you. Mm -hmm. And then there's that asshole. Just juggling, minding his own business. What's his problem? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt you, uh, trying to engage in light sexual intimidation there, sir. You, uh, you be on your way. Now it's Hello there, 1920, friend. so yeah, BJ Blaskowitz is down on the ground, getting schmoozy with a, <clears throat> getting schmoozy with a black girl. I guess the only thing those kids can do for entertainment is spin around. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Yep. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink. <laughs> Who amongst you? Guys who can do stuff. Apparently. This is a clever tutorial section by making it a, uh, a carnival. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of fucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, fucking Bronco is just the ticket. How do we do the thing? Cast him out. Do you have what it takes? Well, we do the thing by doing the thing. Yeehaw! Devil number two! Woo! He's on a roll! <laughs> and the curtain's being blown up by fans to, uh... And that's three! We have a winner! Here you go, friend! And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer! <laughs> Okay. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent. Fear not. I got just secure. Grab a shit. So, air shotgun. Take aim and blast those evil bots out of the sky. Hit enough, and I'll get you up front. All right. Look at this fella go. Two. Blast it to pieces. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. For the record, there won't be any box left when you're done. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Two for one. Cause I'm that good. You more for the record. Never seen shooting like that. You were oh come on! Only reason I couldn't do it is because your thing wasn't fast enough, you twit. Ooh, can I do this? And... Yay! Automated horses! Powered by little electric doohickeys in the middle. Things powered by science! <laughs> mm, science! Magic! Magic science! Science magic! Ooh. I'll give it a shot. Okay. Alright. Might as well see what's here. Get it up and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Rock shot. Alright, I got the bonus. Yay, 20 points. A magnificent display of marksmanship. The box defeated. Daisy Fitzroy slain. You richly rewarded. So that's how that works, and why everything's there. It's an early Vigor unlock. <laughs> Automatic man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's... The handyman. <coughs> Take someone terminally ill, rip off their head, rip out their heart, put them in a machine. Is he man? Is he machine? Only Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing marvel! They, uh, look a little more pleased with their situation in the artwork. A lot more pleased. Not just a little. <laughs> this is a really clever tutorial Box section, though. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. <laughs> hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Just hot so dogs, hot not. dogs, Alexander Hot the Dogs. Advances in science. Yay for flags. And red hot hot dogs. Colombian is up. Record a ditty. Recite poetry for your little lady and play an ad in the night. All right. Have you ever seen anything like it? Ooh. So sad. Sad. I mean, that's strong. Ooh. He said about. Okay. Out of sailor. Oh, what do you call home? Any point in the storm? Howdy, sailor. Your friend. Hey, gorgeous. To a vending machine. Give me one of those. What do you got With there? Just a whisker. They're all ears. Oh. What the? You, my dear, are coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She she gave me a superpower. Press to turn machines into allies. Well, I think it's an assembly man Buford. 
You're spawned at the Rapala Wakes. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber in our flying fairgrounds. <laughs> Wait a second. I wonder. Yep. Three seventy-five. Nowhere near enough. Well, at least it's not Adam. Well, you know, Adam Salt. What's the difference? One uses kids. Oh, and then there are these assholes. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. <laughs> tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. It's next time. <laughs> I suppose there is. Okay. So. So, are they- do, So, question. Mm hmm <laughs> well, well, two questions. Are those two banging each other? Good question, actually. And then... The other question is that... Does that qualify as incest, or is it masturbation? Because um, on the quantum yes, level, as is revealed later in the game, and as is demonstrated right here, what the they heck? are the same person. Oh, A, that is extremely creepy. No, this screwed up bird thing is extremely creepy. I'll give you that. Yeah, bang bang, kid! Bang bang! <laughs> I wonder how long it would take you to get your legs up there. To get what? Get your, like, you know how they say getting, getting sea legs? Um... Getting used to the fact that you're always kind of... Disoriented? Uh-oh. What the? Okay... That's... Not good. Suddenly, I wish I had worn gloves. Good night. Good night, Irene. Good night. <laughs> Yet another semi-modern song. Alright. I'm trying to remember when this particular song actually did, uh, did come out. I don't remember. It wasn't the 1950s and 60s like that, like God only knows. Officially begun! Mister! Mister! Um... Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You been sleeping under a rock? Well, I'd like to sleep under that rock with you. Seventy-seven. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Columbia? Oh boy, we're doing that, aren't we? Oh. The winner is number 77! Oh, what are you? Oh boy! Over here, over here, he's the winner! Number 77, come and claim your prize! First row! First row? Wait, what? <laughs> please don't do this. It was me, it was all me, please, please! They're punishing an interracial relationship. What are you doing? That. Throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> I'm the one you want! Oh! Looks like we've got a shy one here. Yeah, I think this we've one's easy. For you that. Son of a bitch. Wait! Uh, it's him! Uh, now, oh, you get great. that brand, uh, boy? Don't you know that makes you the best <laughs> stabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false 
And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Woo! What the? Buzzsaw. Ooh! Ow, that... Stop him! Stop him! Hurt. The false shepherds come to lead our lamb astray! I'm just here... You don't even know why you're here at this point. I honestly don't. The only thing you know is you have to find a girl. And take her back to New York alive. Oof. That's the only thing you know. Isolation. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Mine. All right, I will take that. Finally, you got a weapon again. Yay. It only took being found out for whatever reason. For whatever reason, indeed. Ooh, apples. I need apples. Apples. Apple? Apple. I still question how the hell they, how the hell they have apple as a Son of these. a bitch is in the park! Cut him off! Don't let him escape! Well, app, uh, you know, gardening makes sense. You, you bring up soil by the crateful from down below. Oh, Jesus. That, uh, that was, uh, not, uh, not well executed. Live, you learn. You don't die next time. Well, I'd rather not die at all. I want this to be a death-free run. But then I can't use the bell. Exactly. I don't want you to use the bell. But I do. Of course I do. Ah! Ah! Oh, All right, um, hold on, I'm trying to find some heals. Ooh, lockbox. Well, it's a little something. Okay. I'm not part. <clears throat> I'll never get out of here alive, voice. Okay. You need the heels, not the salts. Well. There we go. Oh, thank God. Whoever it is, I'm very cross with them. Hey, Machine Gun Tom, why weren't you shooting them? Apparently there was no reason. No reason, my ass. I got the popo -po all over me. Got the fuzz. I got all this money, but what I really need is a couple of band aids and a bottle of whiskey. Not inaccurate. 
So. It seems so n normal. This is one of those that possibly. Ah! Oh! No kidding. Oof. For a. Heavy in the sky. Yep, shoot you in the knee. I will shoot you in the left knee. I will shoot you in the right knee. I will shoot you in the weenie. The weenie. <laughs> You're I do my best. I know. Just... Especially not Machine Gun Joe up there. Good night. Hallelujah, I love her so. Oh, thank good God. Alrighty. I just gotta get past Machine Gun Joe over there. Alright. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Oh, wow, you can possess people too? Yep. Wow. And then they can do stuff like that. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Ain't technology grand. Ooh, candy bar, candy bar. Where's a cake when you need one? No kidding, I want cake. Ooh. See what I mean about a bottle of whiskey? Heals you right up. Heals or trips? Yes. So it heals you, but it also gives you. <laughs> it makes you woozy for a second, so you'll. So you should only ever. Uh, use it. Uh. <coughs> you should only ever use it when it's hot. safe. What's going on? What? You oh, who is that? Fire starter? <laughs> I mean, my guess, spokesman for the NRA, maybe? I don't know. What's chicks? <laughs> no, you only live once. <laughs> Fire. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Uh, I really got to lay off the spicy food. <laughs> that wasn't no sample. <laughs> that wasn't no sample. Hehe. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's. Nope. 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 There we are. Hi. You. We are friends now. We are friends. So you know, go all machine gun, Tommy and those guys. I, I, uh -oh. I, I meant to do that. Sure. So. Ooh, pineapple. <laughs> now all I need is a pen. Huh? I have a pen. 
I have a pineapple. Uh, pineapple pan. The Blue Ribbon Restaurant. I want a restaurant with a squealing pig on its, uh, with a dude riding a squealing pig uh, as its, uh, as its logo. That sounds awesome. But, uh, we'll be talking about that restaurant next time as we play the whole damn thing of, uh, of, uh, not Fallout, Bioshock Infinite. So, we'll be seeing you kids.